Hi friends, welcome back to another weekly energy video. Oh man, it's the end of the year. December 26th through, I guess, the 31st. January 1st, something like that. Uh, Mars is still in retrograde since October and will be until mid-January, like January 12th, I think it is. If you remember, uh, Mars is the planet of action, desire, the way that we go after things. Uh, it's retrograding in Gemini, communication, our words. So regardless of what your experience has been so far with this Mars retrograde, um, specifically around words you have said or others have said that may have caused upset or just maybe have rubbed the wrong way. Um, I know I've said some things and later I'm like, why? Why? You know, um, there is a silver lining to the Mars retrograde and I think that it's um, felt especially this week. Um, doesn't mean that you, it's not felt during other moments, but just that since it's the holidays, um, we're like the middle of the holiday season, mm, it could be good to finally slow down. Mars retrograde is helping us to slow down, um, and is supporting that kind of reflection that this time of year typically brings us. So... No more resistance. Just like lean right into that Mars retrograde um, and get ready because also there's Capricorn. Oh, sorry, not Capricorn. It's Capricorn season, right? That happened last week. Uh, and the new moon in Capricorn, which we talked about. But Mercury is retrograding in Capricorn now. So we got a Mars retrograde. You got the Mercury retrograde. Retrograde, retrograde, retrograde. <laughs> I think it's kind of ridiculous. Um... Mercury retrograde is nothing to be afraid of. We've talked about this a lot before. It's just rearranging things. So uh, what I want to say about the astrology this week is that um, it's possible. You may experience a greater sensitivity or you have experienced uh, this month um, a greater sensitivity to what triggers you. Um, use that. Use that information to... Allow life to restructure around the kind of, I'll say, because of Capricorn, commitments you want to see in your life. Um, and the Mercury retrograding in Capricorn starts this week. It's, uh, it has a transit with Venus, or it's aspecting Venus with, um, in some way, um, which is the planet of love. So this might be about how you want to see a greater love commitment or love commitments in your life. It doesn't have to be related to love, but it would be very, it's very auspicious for it. The astrology is auspicious for it to bring that in as a theme. Um, and as we know, Capricorn is the sign of responsibility and ambition. So it could also be very much work related where it's, um, you know, being com realizing maybe what works, the, the work that something may take, a goal that we have and becoming very serious about how we plan to go after that. Again, just planning, not really taking any action, but more so reflecting on the year that has passed and thinking, wow, I really wanted to do this, or I really wish I had this in my life, and I, I want to be more committed to this. And looking back at the year, my actions have not led me, my actions have not led to this becoming true, this commitment being here, for me now. So what can I change? What what can I move around for that to be true this time next year? Just for example. Okay, we cards we got cards flying out. They're just like hurry up already. Two on the ground, we'll take one more. I'm using the wisdom of the oracle deck to get three oracle cards. There we go. This one came out recently as well. Loyal heart, clean it up, exchanging gifts. Numbers 35, 21, 27. That's 8, 3, 9, 9, 9. 8, 3, 9. 
loyal heart. See, there's that love showing up. Clean it up. Obviously, clean up shop. That's what we've been talking about. This, like, um, what are the things that we don't, you know, that we can structure, structure or reorganize or clean up in our lives so that we have more commitment for the things that we do want and not the things that we don't want. And then exchanging gifts shows up. I feel like that came out last week or maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, it is about um, being aware of what is giving you energy and what is taking your energy. Is there an equal energy exchange? If there isn't, there should be your sign where to slow down, where to stop, and where to reinvest energy to like redirect, to pivot. Um, I'm picking up that there's a situation or a person in your life who isn't isn't a loyal heart. I'm seeing the loyal heart card here in reverse. Um, maybe it's just like a commitment that isn't returned. I'm getting some sort of like unrequited thing. I will read those cards um, from the book, the book later on, because this is this actually was my very first oracle deck, this Wisdom of the Oracle, and it's been a really long time since I've used it. So I'm just, you know, reading them intuitively as of right now, but I will go and read them for you to get the full message since I'm not, I don't know, as learned on those cards uh, since it's been a while okay what spread should we do i i came up with a new spread recently i'm wondering if it'll want if that's what we should do no okay we'll do something else Queen of Cups, Strength, King of Wands, Nine of Wands. Well, there's the burnout, right? We talked about Mars retrograde. Um, well, a lot of us are de have been dealing with burnout leading up to the holidays, just like getting everything done. And, and now we're maybe finally, um, you know, somewhere on the edge of this is a January problem or is this something I have to finish before the end of the year? So with that, there is an experience of burnout. There's also the King of Wands is, is sort of saying, um, where are you putting your influence, your energy? Um, because it, it, you might be putting it somewhere where it's either not reciprocated or it's just honestly too much. Like it's a little too much. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting instead of an outward focus here of, of energy, um, giving energy. Um, I'm not saying anything about against giving. That's not what I'm saying. Just um, directing en your energy outward uh, is not the thing this week. It is going inward because we have the Queen of Cups. She's sort of looking um, into that cup. She nurtures the element of the cup, which is our emotions and our inner world. And she's gazing deeply into it. Um, so she's getting in touch with her emotions, she's getting in touch with her intuition and trying to understand as much about her inner world as she can uh, to gain wisdom. It's her intuition as well. I think I said that, yeah. And why? Why? Uh, we have the strength card in reverse. Strength is the kind of energy that um, is trusting, is, is like trusting in the universe that things that are meant for us will come, that things are organized in a sort of beautiful chaos and it's okay to let go of control. Um, if, you're, um, if you struggle with this, it makes sense that, that you might still be working um, toward um, or um, sending your energy out of yourself into other people, other situations and not looking inward. Because this is a time of self-reflection and sort of feeling um, feeling um, what am I trying to say? I wanted to say confidence, but I kind of got stopped there. It wasn't confidence. Just like finding your faith in the universe through through your own means, through your own, through knowing yourself, knowing your body, knowing your emotions. Um, 
So this might be an invitation this week to um, tap it, to to utilize this greater sensitivity that's available to us all this week. Okay. We are going to try my new spread. Let's go for it. Do you remember the cards? <laughs> I do. Okay, yeah, it was strength is next. Okay, we have two queens show up. That's nice. That's really nice. And the Ace of Swords is here. Uh, there's Neptune, or sorry, the Seven of um, Cups has showed up. That's Neptune. Uh, Neptune is actually aspecting Venus, which is aspecting the Mercury retrograde. So Venus is, I think, sextile or something like that. Neptune. This is um, a bit of a romantic notion. This is inspiration. Um, love. The Queen of Cups is clarified by the Four of Cups and the Justice card. So I see Libra. This is also what you get is what you what you get is what you give, right? It's this uh justice is the karma card. Karma being what you put into a situation situation is what you get out of it. And the four of cups is telling me that um somebody here is uh hesitant to participate in some offer of love or some, you know, this this ace of cups that's offered on this on this card, if you can recall what it looks like, this Ace of Cups is being offered to this boy sitting by a tree, and he's not really participating. He's got like, I got these other cups here um, that are keeping me company, and maybe it's that you don't want any more, you have enough. Um, for one reason or another, this is sort of like saying like, no thanks, I am doing my own thing. I am retreating into my inner world. Okay, fine karma right karma is saying you will you will reap the benefits of what your inner world can offer definitely um the seven of <laughs> the seven of cups then in reverse is telling me you're discovering a lot about yourself and there may be many many avenues in which your mind and your uh, this ex this inner exploration can lead you um This is really reminding me of like how there is this, um, the, what the moon is doing this week is like it's midweek it goes into Pisces, which is what's bringing us this extra sensitivity. And then by the weekend, well, we're going to have a Taurus moon weekend. So our stability comes from feeling very practical, um, but also being aware of our bodies, our needs, the needs of others. Everything is just very practical and feeling sort of um, wholesome because of what Venus does this week it's like we have more compassion we have more love we have more capacity um, uh, and with what's going on with Mercury um, the Mercury conjunct Venus even though it's going retrograde it is bringing a bit of like rational thinking because it is also retrograding in Capricorn so that's what I'm getting with this strength card and this line here there's a lot to uncover about our emotions. 
Um, and it is a test of faith. That's why we see strength in the reverse. It's a test of faith. And the Taurus moon weekend is asking us to let go of our quest for material things, to not seek for stability in things outside of ourselves, but to stay inside. Stay inside. I believe there's a truth to uncover. I think that's what's happening here. I believe that this week, with given the astrology, there is um, we can learn a lot about what triggers us. Like suddenly things are becoming much clearer. Um, the medicine of this Mars retrograde, and that Capricorn retrograde is then going to use that information. Like that information is being injected into that astrology collectively and individually for life to begin to restructure itself around these um, this information, these feelings, and these new commitments. I think that there is... Um, you know, Ace of Swords in, in the reverse is also <laughs> indicative of uh, poor communication in this case. I think that if you... Um, uh, what did I learn this recently? Oh, I was listening to a podcast. The Missing Witches, po Missing Witches podcast is something my friend, a friend of mine... Um, what am I trying to say, recommended that I listen to, and I did. I listened to a few episodes, and there's one in there that talks about um, digging up the seed before it's ready. So you do all the work, and you plant the seeds of these commitments that you wish to grow, um, and then it's like a couple days pass, and you're like, I need to go see if this is done yet. Um, has the vegetable grown underground you know but it has to stay underground in order for it to grow and so what i'm connecting here is the message that this may take a while um that's why i see here the ace of swords in reverse the king of wands in reverse and the queen of swords in reverse because i think we're gonna have to be very diligent um not let our minds really run away from us uh, the mind may logic us to want to take action before it's ready uh, because we may, s our, our minds can, you know, we can rationalize that we're ready to take some step before it's fully formed. Um, this may also be something about something isn't quite totally clear yet. Um, yeah, some, something's not totally clear yet, or you haven't cleared something yet. Mm. We end with the Queen of Wands, and she's in the upright after all of these. There's a lot of cards here in reverse. The Ace of Swords, the King of Wands, Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands. Mental. This... This is Mars retrograde in Gemini. I think that's what this is about because the swords is the mental, the air, the Gemini, and the the wands are the fire, the Mars. Okay, but Queen of Wands is here, so what is she trying to tell us? What is the message of the Queen of Wands in this case after all of that? The Queen of Wands to me is best friend energy. She's sort of like the the character, the archetype, if you will, that's saying uh, you are powerful. She's saying you um, are magic. There's a black cat on her. Hmm. Let's go to read from the book now. 35, Loyal Hearts.
Protection message. Yeah, because it's in the reverse. Are you stubborn or overly tenacious about an idea? Or have you become so attached to something that you just don't know how to let it go? Could it be that it's become so much a part of you that you wouldn't know who you are without it? Now is the time to look at outdated beliefs, ideas, and misplaced loyalties. Ooh. Damn. Betrayal is only a signal that it is time to prune away all who don't deserve your trust and have no place in your life. Be new, think new, and open your heart to new things. Let go of the old and all your attachments. Spirit has awesome plans for you. Make some room. Okay, so it's talking about betrayal and the King of Wands. First of all, the King of Wands um, can indicate like our ideal um, love partner, our ideal part, the qualities of our ideal partner are maybe showing up here. And he's surrounded by the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords, both in reverse. So it's almost like this person isn't who you think they are. Um, if whether or not it's related to love or partner um, or ex-partner because of the retrograde. Maybe it is something like that. Maybe somebody from the past is returning and um, you will have done the work to realize that this person isn't who you're projecting them out to be. You're seeing in this person what you want to see as a reflection of what it is that you think you need. You are... Um, Jupiter's in Aries, remember? That happened um, last week or two weeks ago? I can't really remember, honestly. I think it was last week. The most growth and the most rewards that Jupiter will leave will come from being self-sufficient, taking initiative. You know, in that case, this means, for me, you know, turn them down. If somebody comes to you and tries to sweet-talk you <laughs> with this Venus-Neptune energy, hmm... Will you know what to say? Will you know what to do? Will you will you stay with yourself? Mm. Next one. Clean it up. Twenty one. Twenty one. Clean it up. It's about getting to the core of a situation, freedom from a burden, cleaning house, sweeping away what is no longer needed. You are seeing the theme of this week. Okay. Ever feel so bogged down with emotional gunk that you can't think straight? <laughs> That's pretty much what this spread is saying. Could you be surrounded by physical clutter in your home? Uh, too much work, overwhelmed, time to clean house, every item out of place, natters away at you every unresolved resentment every comparison to others that leads to a sense of lack takes up energetic space every unpaid bill just adds up to unnecessary feeling of being overwhelmed now is the time to free yourself by energetically cleaning house just do it make room for the miracles that are lining up for you two times we now say there's something lining up for you i love that Simple things like opening your mail, paying bills, sorting out your timetable, making lists, or getting organized is what the symbol means when it comes to your work. Make time for yourself too. This card is a sign you may be overburdened and overwhelmed. It's okay to say no. You'll prosper more when you do. Literally what I just said is on this card. Something about prosper, you know, Jupiter, the, the planet, like planet of prosperity um giving us the medicine the advice to say no if somebody from the past comes around you know somebody who maybe you don't trust anymore you know, it could be that simple say no don't give them another chance ultimately it's up to you i'm not going to tell you what to do i'm just saying like you're if this resonates with you you're acquiring so much wisdom by really sitting with yourself um being present to what's coming up for you and your emotions in the way your body reacts to something, when you hear something, um, you know, your like sacral response, when, when somebody tells you a piece of information or asks you a question, that's really valuable. I think that's what this Queen of Wands is saying, is like you are becoming so powerful 
Why would you give that away to somebody you don't even trust? Why would you give that away to somebody who doesn't deserve your trust? Okay, last one, 27. 27. It seems like this has happened before, actually. This isn't the first time. This has happened before because we start this whole reading with the Four of Cups, remember? You you already know that you're better off on your own doing your thing. So that's really interesting to see now after the fact. Okay, we're going to read this last card. This uh, 27, Exchanging Gifts. It's in reverse. We've got We've gotten this card before. Be careful what you pray for because you just might get it. That is the entire, like if I distilled the month of December into a single mantra, it would be that. And it was much louder for me at the beginning of the month. Uh, but it's a great to have this reminder now as we s plant seeds during the new moon in Capricorn, which we just had, and we're still sort of in this new moon energy, New Year's resolution energy. What you focus on grows. So don't let your mind wander Give it something to do. Give it something to focus on. Be aware of your desires. Mm, redirect that energy back into yourself. Here you go. Be careful what you pray for because you just might get it. And then realize you don't want to face the hefty price tag that it comes with. You find yourself in a situation you've always desired, but know you will have to walk away from or even fail at it, because you can't or won't pay the dues it asks of you. You want to be a famous musician, you, can, you have to practice your craft every day. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to be responsible for managing the money and paying the taxes. Even a windfall bears a cost. It's okay though, because spirit will help you achieve balance over time. Balance, Libra. Okay, I mean justice, which Libra as well. Uh, and then also Leo, by the way, in strength. So Libra and Leo, um, if any of those signs resonate with you. Another message here reminds you that being only a giver and not the receiver plays out in many relationships in your life where you find yourself in victim mode, in a codependent dynamic, or holding on to a false sense of control. I see false sense of control. Um, well... Not false sense of control. I see control in the Eight of Swords card. Um, it's really saying we're coming out of that. Um, we're coming out of thinking of victim mode. We're coming out of thinking we're the victim. Um, I think that power is coming from knowing we can put a stop to this. We can say no and we can cut off um, that external flow of energy and redirect it back into ourselves. Others may push you to continue to prove yourself. The time has come to distance yourself from this kind of imbalance. Being aware of the need for both give and take is the first step to your true destiny. It's all good and getting better. Not only can you handle this, but you can flourish as a result of it. I love that that production message ends on that such an empowering note. It's exactly like the Queen of Wands energy. She's the best friend saying, you got this, you are powerful, you are magical, and you know what to do. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you like the video, please like, subscribe. Um, you may have noticed that I changed the name of my channel. I'm working on a new project right now. Um, so I'm just sort of like lining up my, um, you know, my socials, my, uh, tags, my, all of that stuff, just all of it. And um, it helps a lot if you like the video and leave a comment, helps other people find it, um, helps to let me know what it is you resonate with, which parts of the video. It got cut off, I don't know where, so I just wanna say uh, thank you so much for all of your support, for watching the videos, your likes, comments, subscribes. Uh, means a lot, helps grow the channel, and helps me do what I love. Have a great holiday season um, and a safe new year. I'll see you on the other side.